Despite progress in leprosy treatment, current interventions are insufficient to address the global burden of new cases. A single dose of rifampin is used for chemoprophylaxis in close contacts of individuals with leprosy. But studies in tuberculosis control indicate that rifapentine, with a longer half-life, might be an effective alternative. A new study investigates this possibility. In this open-label cluster-randomized control trial, 7,450 participants 10 to 65 years of age living with individuals with leprosy in one of 207 counties or districts in southwest China, were assigned to receive supervised administration of a single oral dose of rifapentine, supervised administration of a single oral dose of rifampin, or no treatment. The primary outcome, the cumulative incidence of leprosy during four years of follow-up, was 0.09% in the rifapentine group, 0.33% in the rifampin group, and 0.55% in the control group. The difference was statistically significant between the rifapentine group and the control group, but not between the rifampin group and the control group. A secondary outcome of cumulative incidence at two years was similar between groups, with no significant difference for either rifapentine or rifampin as compared with the control group. No serious adverse events were observed, including myelosuppression and liver or renal dysfunction. The authors conclude that among household contacts of individuals with leprosy, single-dose rifapentine lowered the incidence of leprosy over four years without resulting in any severe adverse events. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.